close. Do you know what kind of animal that one is? That's right, it's a pterodactyl. Now pterodactyls were around at the same time as dinosaurs. And they were known as the winged reptiles. And they came in two different types. There were smaller ones called pterodactylus, and much, much bigger ones with much bigger wingspans called the pterodons. Now, the pterodactyls, they also ate meat. They also ate other animals. Do you remember what we called the T-Rex? Because he ate other animals. That's right. Well, remember, we called him a carnivore. So the pterodactyls were also carnivores because they ate meat. Now, we moved like a T-Rex with big legs and little ones at the front. Do you think you can now move a bit more gracefully like a pterodactyl soaring through the sky? Should we give it a go? So, get those big wings and gracefully soar around flying like a pterodactyl. here at Quizzy Cottage and some of those adventures you may have been on with me but all of them are written about in the books here in the library so today I thought I'd read you one of the stories would you like that brilliant okay today's story is all about ocean giants arctic animals and some pretty impressive dinosaurs. Quizzy, the quiz master, is in the desert meeting his friends after watching monster trucks. <coughs> Quizzy sings his quizzy rap and invites his friends to Quizzy Cottage for today's quiz. Yo! he says. If you're not too busy, come and join me, Quizzy, and play my quizzes and games. On the count of three, let's all shout out each and every one of our names. One, two, three, Quizzy! All Quizzy's friends shout out their names. Quizzy continues to rap. Now we know all our names, and we know why we're here. Let's smash out a quiz. You've got nothing to fear. Let's test our memories and let our brains do the biz. Come over to my own place, he says. Now let's do a quiz. Quizzy and his friends head up to Quizzy Cottage. Quizzy gives them a warm welcome. But before heading to the first quiz room, he takes them into the kitchen to meet Rainbow Sparkle. Rainbow Sparkle looks after the mystery quiz time bag. Now at any point, Quizzy tells his friends, during the quiz, if you hear this noise, then you need to shout out, quiz time! Because it means quiz time is here and the mystery quiz bag is ready. So if you hear the bells, run back here to Rainbow Sparkle, ready for quiz time. Quizzy and his friends then head down the corridor, up the stairs, to the first of today's quiz rooms. Wow, Quizzy says, 
As he enters the room, he's faced with a huge jungle right in front of him. Out of nowhere, he hears a huge roar. Soon after, he comes face to face with a huge dinosaur. Quizzy asks his friends if they can name the dinosaur, which of course they can. After chatting about the dinosaur's diet, his big teeth and his big back legs, Quizzy and his friends start walking around acting like the dinosaur. But look out Quizzy, in swoops another one that almost knocks Quizzy over. This one swoops in and is known as a flying reptile. Quizzy and his friends learn all about it. Just in time though, because he's soon chased off by yet another huge dinosaur. This one has huge plates all along its back. Will you help me count them? Says Quizzy to his friends. 15, 16, 17, they count. I think we're just about done with dinosaurs, says Quizzy. Shall we head to the next quiz room? Quizzy and his friends head along the corridor to the second of today's quiz rooms. Wow, Quizzy says, as him and his friends enter the second quiz room, where they find a man in a little boat sailing around on a beautiful deep blue sea. What's he doing? Quizzy asks his friend. He's fishing, his friends shout. If he catches anything, will you shout out my name to let me know? Quizzy asks his friends. Moments later, Quizzy hears his name. Quizzy! Being shouted. He comes running. The fisherman's caught something. Something huge. And it's definitely not a fish. Will you help me? Quizzy says. Help me scare it away to help the fisherman. Quizzy's friends of course help him and they scare it away. Over and over again, the fisherman keeps catching things that aren't fish. Quizzy! Quizzy's friends keep shouting and together Quizzy and his friends keep scaring them all off. Suddenly, they hear bells ringing. It's quiz time! Quizzy and his friends run back to Rainbow Sparkle, ready for quiz time. Quizzy grabs the mystery quiz time bag. And then he meets his friends in the lounge, ready for quiz time. Five quick fire quiz time questions begin. Which of course, Quizzy's friends smash. Off to the final quiz room, they head. Oh, it's pretty cold in here, says Quizzy. And who's this big fella? Quizzy and his friends get to meet some stunning Arctic beasts among all the snow and ice, learning all about them as they go. And as always, they left just enough time for one last wrap. Quizzy sings. Quizzy Cottage is the place to be. If you like quizzes, come on down and see. It's full of quizzes, puzzles and lots of games. And we start by shouting out our names. The quiz rooms are amazing and full of fun. But if you hear those bells ringing, don't forget to run back to Rainbow Sparkle, my faithful teddy. Because it means quiz time is here. And the mystery quiz bag is ready. Come back again soon and bring your friends and your family too. I'm just the quiz master, Quizzy says. The star of the show is you.
that time again. So, if you're not too busy, come and join me, Quizzy, and play my quizzes and games. On the count of three, let's all shout out each and every one of our names. One, two, three, Quizzy! Now we know all our names and we know why we're here. Let's smash out a quiz, you've got nothing to fear. Let's test our memories and let our brains do the biz. Come over to my place and let's do a quiz. So, you're going to come over to my place and do a quiz. You are brilliant. I'll meet you over there. Let's go. Welcome to Quizzy Cottage. I'm Quizzy, the quiz master. Would you like to know about today's quizzes? You would? Brilliant. But first, let's pop in the kitchen and see our furry friend. Come on. Hey everyone, this is Rainbow Sparkle. And her job is to look after the mystery quiz time Bag. So at any point during the quiz, if you hear this noise, then you need to shout out, Quiz Time! Because it means Quiz Time is here and it's time to open the mystery Quiz Time bag. Okay? Hey, you should go and have a look in our first of today's quiz rooms. Brilliant! Let's go! Wow! Hey! Can you see where we are? That's right! It's like a wood, or a forest, or maybe even a jungle. That's a bit scary. Do you know what kind of animal that is? That's right, it's a dinosaur. And a pretty big one. With a big mouth and big scary teeth. What kind of dinosaur is he? Do you know? That's right, he's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Or a T-Rex. Now, T-Rexes, they eat other animals. They eat meat and even other dinosaurs. Do you know what we call it when an animal eats meat and eats other animals? That's right, we call them carnivores. Now, the T-Rex lived about 70 million years ago, which is very lucky for us. I think he might eat us too. And the T-Rex has really big back legs. But really tiny little ones at the front. And they're so tiny, he can't even pick things up with them. He has to use his mouth to catch food and pick up the food. His little legs or hands at the front don't really do much. Can you walk around like a T-Rex? You can, so you need really big steps with your back legs, but little tiny hands at the front. Have a little walk around, big stomping legs, little tiny hands. That's it, brilliant. And if you want to, you could always give a big dinosaur <laughs> That was close. Do you know what kind of animal that one is? That's right, it's a pterodactyl. Now pterodactyls were around at the same time as dinosaurs. And they were known as the winged reptiles. 
and they came in two different types. There were smaller ones called Pterodactylus, and much, much bigger ones with much bigger wingspans called the Pterodons. Now, the Pterodactyls, they also ate meat. They also ate other animals. Do you remember what we called the T-Rex? Because he ate other animals. That's right. Well, remember, we called him a carnivore. So the pterodactyls were also carnivores because they ate meat. Now, we moved like a T-Rex with big legs and little ones at the front. Do you think you can now move a bit more gracefully like a pterodactyl soaring through the sky? Should we give it a go? So, get those big wings and gracefully soar around, flying like a pterodactyl. Hey, great flying like a pterodactyl. Whoa! Do you know what kind of dinosaur this one is? That's right, he's a Stegosaurus. Now, do you think he looks a little bit like me with the red? Hmm, maybe. Now, Stegosauruses, they don't eat meat. They don't eat other animals like the T-Rex and like the Pterodactyl did. Do you know what they eat instead? That's right, they eat plants. And do you know what we call an animal that eats plants and doesn't eat meat? Yes, that's right, we call them herbivores. Now, some people, like me and you, also choose not to eat meat. But we don't call them herbivores, do you know what we call them? That's right, they're called vegetarians. Now, the Stegosaurus, they're meant to have exactly 17 plates all along their neck and down their back. Shall we see if our Stegosaurus has 17 of them by counting them together? Now, if you look carefully down his neck, you can see seven little tiny plates starting to get bigger and then there's eight nine ten eleven twelve get in there thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen he has seventeen plates wow well i think we're just about done with dinosaurs don't you should we head to the next quiz room and see what's in there? Great! Let's go! Hey! Can you see where we are for our next quiz room? That's right, we're at the sea or the ocean. And can you see what that man's doing in the boat? Yes, he's fishing. But what's he using to fish with? That's right, he's using a fishing rod. Hey, if you see him catch anything, will you shout my name loud and clear? Quizzy! So I can quickly look and see what he's caught. Brilliant! Thank you. What a lovely day, isn't it? What is it? He's caught something. Wow. But what's he caught? That's right, it's a whale. Do you know what kind of whale that is? Yes, it's a blue whale. Did you know that blue whales can grow as long as three buses? Look. One, two, 
Can we? That's really, really long. Now, the fisherman definitely does not want a blue whale on the end of his fishing rod. He's trying to catch fish, not whales. Can we help him by scaring away the whale? Excellent. So we'll count to three and we'll go, go away whale. Are you ready to shout? One, two, three, go away whale. Hey, you did it. Well done. Hey, if you see the fisherman catch anything else, remember to shout my name again. What is it? What is it? He's caught something else. Wow! What's he caught this time? That's right! It's an octopus. Now, if we cut ourselves, we fall over, we graze our knee, do you know what colour our blood is? Yeah, that's right, it's red. But do you know what colour blood an octopus has? It's a bit strange, but it's blue. How many legs does an octopus have? I think you're right, I think it's eight. But should we count them and see? Okay, here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Wow. Now again, the fisherman does not want an octopus on the end of his fishing rod. He wants a fish. So can you help me by scaring him off? Brilliant. So on the count of three, we shall go away. Octopus, are you ready? One, two, three. Go away, octopus. Yes, you did it. Well done. Okay, so if you hear or see the fisherman catch anything else, don't forget to call my name. What is it? What is it? He's caught something else. Wow. Bit scary. What's he caught this time? Yes, I think you're right. It's a shark. Did you know what kind of shark that is? Yes, that's a great white shark. Now, the fisherman definitely does not want that on his fishing line. Will you help me again by scaring him off? Thank you. So on three, you shout go away shark. Are you ready? One, two, three. Go away shark. Yes, that's brilliant. Well done. We're really helping out this fisherman, aren't we? Scared away the whale, the octopus and the shark. We're pretty good at this. Yes, you're right. It's quiz time. Let's go. Hey, Rainbow Sparkle. It's quiz time. I'll tell you what. I'll grab the bag and I'll meet you in the lounge. Let's go. Okay, so I've got the mystery quiz time back. Should we have a look inside and see what's in there? We've got this. Okay, so five quick fire quiz time questions about this. So question number one, what is this? 
No! Of course! It's a toothbrush! Question number two. What do we put on the toothbrush? Yes! Brilliant! Toothpaste! Question number three. What do we clean with the toothbrush? And the toothpaste. Yes, we clean our teeth. Question number four. How long should we clean our teeth for? When we're cleaning them. Yes, we clean them for two minutes. Question number five. How many times a day should we be cleaning our teeth? Yes, you got it. We should clean them twice a day. Once in the morning and then a second time in the evening before we go to bed. Brilliant! You smashed quiz time! Hey, should we go to the last quiz book? See what's in there. Brilliant! Let's go! Oh, it's pretty cold out here. What's all that white stuff? Snow? Yeah, you're right. Hey! Who's this big fella? What kind of animal is he? Yeah, that's it. He's a polar bear. Do you know what a polar bear's baby is called? Yeah, that's right. Polar bear's baby is called a cub. And did you know that underneath all that white fluffy fur, the polar bear's skin is actually black? How funny. Oh. He didn't hang around long, did he? See why? Who's this guy? Yes, you're right. It's a walrus. He's got really big teeth. No wonder the polar bear did a runner. Huh? They're not teeth. Oh. And what are they? Oh, tusks. Right. I didn't know that. Hey, do you know what a walrus's baby is called? Yeah, it's called a pup. Oh, bye. Well, he didn't stick around for long either. Whoa! Hey, now I know who that is. Do you? What animal is he? Yeah, you're right. It's a wolf. And this one, I think, is an arctic wolf. Now, wolves are known for their howling. Can you howl like a wolf? Should we do it together? On three, a really big howl like a wolf. Are you ready? One, two, three, howl! <laughs> Time to go. But give yourselves a clap because you smashed today's quizzes and you left time for one more rap. So if you know it, join in. Then get out there and spread the word. I'm Quizzy, the quiz master, and my raps need to be heard. Quizzy Cottage is the place to be. If you love quizzes, come on down and see. It's full of quizzes, puzzles and lots of games. And we start by shouting out our names. The quiz rooms are amazing 
and full of fun. If you hear those bells ringing, don't forget to run. Back to Rainbow Sparkle, my faithful teddy. Because it means quiz time is here and the mystery quiz bag is ready. Come back again soon. Bring your friends and family too. I'm just the quiz master. The star of the show is you. Until next time, happy quizzing. Bye for now.